Hey everybody, back with another part of the Cat Lady. As you can remember, we picked off, we just uh, finished up talking to the Queen of Maggots. And I think we're heading off to find one of these five people that are going to uh, allow us to die or something of the sort. Alright, I already blew out the candle. Let's examine. Strange, the flame seems strong and steady, but there is no smoke. Alright, let's uh, head on out of this fucking creepy ass house that I don't ever want to come back to again. No. What the? How did I get back here? I don't know. This game is weird. I love it though. I don't want to look at my body anymore. Is that me or is... I don't have a doorbell. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright. Uh, sprint? Still no sprint. I got a crowbar now though. I'm not sure what that does quite yet, but... I'm sure if I just keep walking, I'll end up where I'm supposed to go. You think, you know, um... The Queen of Maggots could do it herself. She seems like a pretty capable bitch. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> oh god, I, I, that name just gives me chills completely. I think I'm going back to where I started, so I might fly back to, uh... Neverland or whatever? Let's go back in here. Why not? Okay, we'll just leave automatically. We're going back in, damn it. I don't want to leave. Let's see if I can use a crowbar. Just an ordinary crowbar. Okay. I can't use it, damn it. Ah! Okay. Let me up. There we go. There we go. There it is. Okay, we're gonna hear my heartbeat. Use the crowbar. Blam, blam, blam. I'm knocking it, bitches. Alright, let's, uh, Play, play with the hole. Let's examine. The sign underneath says emergency power switch. Danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. No? Okay. We're going to reach inside. Ew. Uh. My arm! Ah! Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck is going on? Oh my gosh, I'm powering the machine with it. Oh, help me! I'm in our Jesus! Hallelujah! Hallelujah, let me out! Oh god, that was awesome. That was great! My arms! <laughs> oh, I really hope this isn't copyright if I post it on YouTube. <laughs> Please. I hate those things. Where am I going? Where am I going? My arm's gone. Play it on beach and shit, that's fun. Hmm. Hello? I seen the light! Cat lady. I think that was a fucking awesome beginning to the game. I don't care. I loved it. I loved it. More of a dog person myself, but whatever. Wow. Wow. Fucking wow. Is this thing on? Is it on? On. Hello. And we're back. Alright, are we on chapter two? Yes, the beginning of chapter two. Second, first breath. Yes, I do enjoy fine art. Thank you for noticing. Creepy There's fuck. a certain raw beauty to it that modern painters often fail to recreate. I always wanted to be an artist oh, no. myself, but it'll be a long time before I can call myself that. I often say that patients are my canvas. But my job is more about restoration, obviously. I look at the damaged human minds and bring them back to their former beauty. I'm sorry, I'm probably boring you. No, it's not that. It's just... It's been a difficult couple of days. I'd really like to go home. 
please. Of course, Creeper. and go Stranger home you danger. will. As soon as we've done this little assessment, okay, you probably know how it works. I've read in your file you used to be a nurse. Yes, I know very well how it works. You want to check if I'm nuts? Slightly. Well, I wouldn't use that expression, obviously. But yes, we have to make sure you're safe and figure out how to help you. He's such a creeper. Also, as a nurse yourself, you know there's always oh, paperwork God, involved. <laughs> These forms won't fill themselves. Honestly, Susan, you have nothing to worry about. This is just a formality. Thing. I could tell straight away that you are not nuts. Fine. What would you like to know? I will answer all your questions. Then I'll go home, take a long shower, and catch up on sleep. Sounds like a plan. Wonderful. I'll go Let's with see it. then. Where do we begin? Ooh, I'm a nurse. Nurse, can I check your can I check your heartbeat? I'm not doing anything. Hands are up. She's awake, doctor. Oh, I woke up. Damn it! Good evening. It's good to see you awake at last. And I dream about creepy doctors. <laughs> You're in the Cedar Lake Hospital. Thank you. My name is Andrew. I'm one of the doctors. Yes, Andrew. I Could you confirm you. your name for me, please? It's Susan Ashworth. Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. I'm glad to see you're all right. You're on the ward now. Your condition is stable. I can see your brain functions just fine and there's no permanent damage oh, of any sort. There's damage. We've checked your internal Trust organs me. and they're fine too. You're a very lucky lady, Susan. You might experience you extreme Ashworth. tiredness and lethargy for a couple of days, but that yeah. should soon pass. I would advise plenty of rest now. The nurses on this ward will take it from here. Please let them know if you need anything. Love take care, you. Mrs. Ashworth. Susan. Please, don't try to speak. Of course not. What did you say? Fuck you. Don't talk to me that way. Don't worry, Mrs. Ashworth. Your arm is fine. No, no, no. There was nothing wrong with your arm, darling. Now calm <laughs> down. My arm was gone. I was like... Would you like me to get Trust you some me. water? <laughs> Let me get you a drink. I'll be back in a second. She's one of the scums. She's going to try to drown me in a cup of water. And be like, no, bitch. I'm a scuba diver. You don't fuck with a scuba diver. You don't fuck with a scuba diver. I love it. Black screens are my favorite. It's like watching a movie. Let's just watch. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. sorry, Susan. Did I wake you? I have to take your blood pressure. Okay. Two seconds and I'm gone. Get the fuck out. My name is Liz, by the way. Hi, Liz. Hi. I'm sorry. I know this isn't very nice. Believe me, I hate waking people up She's just sweet. for this. Okay. But being a nuisance is part of my stupid job, unfortunately. Oof, I hate this place. Good to know you hate Tell you what, on me. Susan. Can I call you Susan? So anyway, I shouldn't say it, but you know I'm going to anyway. You are so lucky. It's crazy. You doing what you've done, and her walking in, seeing what she saw. That was a chance. One in a million. What happened? I'm not making any sense again, am I? No. Nope. I'm tired. They're working us to death here, you know. Modern day slavery. One day I'll tell them what I really think. I swear I will. You do that. Ah, and here it is. You've got the blood pressure of an 18 year old. Good to know. Just wanted to say you're lucky, I think. And that I hope you've changed your mind about some things. Didn't got to go. But I'll see you later. You take care, sweetheart, yeah? I'm doing a let's play, but it's more like a let's watch and I just make snappy comments. <laughs> Whatever. I don't like it though. Can I get up? <laughs> Fuck me. Turn it off, it's bright! Oh, that was what is going on? Shit. I burned to death. Was I supposed to do something? Oh, I have a feeling I'm gonna die a lot in this game. 
Bad dream. Yeah. Yeah, a really bad one. I knew it. I could see as soon as I came in the room that you were having a nightmare. I guess I shouldn't me. have woken you up. Probably not. What was it about? I was burnt alive. Honesty is the best policy. Actually, it reminds me of something that happened the other day. Oh, great. There was this woman on the emergency unit, and she really wanted to smoke, you know? But they wouldn't let her, of course. She wasn't well at all. Not just injured, but not right in the head. Sounds like she was on ten litres of oxygen through the face mask. She had to stay in bed, she was told. But okay. she wouldn't listen, of course. And as soon as they'd left, she lit up a fag. Boom. The whole room went up in flames. And so did she. Ugh. I guess you didn't really want to know that, did you? That's nope. just me and my big gob. Typical. I never know when to shut up. Oh, God. I want to know what happened what to me. What happened to me? Well, how much do you remember? I... I took some pills. And I fell asleep in the chair. I remember how the room kept spinning around me slowly. I felt so calm. Yep, and done. then... I woke up here, Whatever. and I saw you. Can you now tell me who found me, and what happened? Well, your body went into a coma. Okay. You were lucky she came home and found you. I told you that before. What? Who found me? Your daughter, of course. She called an ambulance. If it wasn't for her, you'd sure be dead now, Susan. My... daughter? Yes. Why? Why did you look so pale daughter. all of a sudden? <laughs> Susan? Do I? I don't have a daughter. Whoever she is, she lied. But why would she do that? How should I know? I was in a coma, apparently. So she lied? It doesn't change the fact that you owe her your life. I was fine. I didn't ask for any help. Of course. Sorry. How long have I been here? Yes. I was told you arrived at the hospital at 7 in the evening. And it's 10 you had a cardiac arrest in the ambulance. They had to resuscitate you. Your heart stopped beating for nearly a minute, hmm. but they managed to bring you back. You went to the intensive care unit where they gave you a dose of antidote and pumped your stomach. She as soon as your condition was stable, they brought you on this ward. They sure know how it's to treat called a girl. Dime Ward. Dying. I call it Die Ward. Because all the patients who come here want to die. What a jerk. It's a suicide watch unit. That's why it's so strict. You have to be careful. Nurses here are trigger happy with the sedatives. When will they, when let, will me they let me go home? I'm not sure. Probably not today. Maybe tomorrow. Will do. Look, I shouldn't say that, but you seem like a nice person. I feel like I should warn you. There's this doctor here. They call him Dr. X. Okay. He's a chief of psychiatry in this hospital. You won't be able to go home until he's talked to you. And he... He's really good at getting into your head. You know what I'm saying? He will ask you a lot of tricky questions. But he's a really great guy. You should trust him. Will do. Hmm, let's see. Tell me, Tell me more about this Dr. X. His name is Xavier Zellman, but everyone just calls him Dr. X. He comes on the ward often, usually Z. late in the afternoon or in the evening. I personally really like him, but you hear all sorts of stories in a place like this, you know. I don't know what to believe anymore. Yep. All I know is he's been very friendly and supportive. Some doctors won't even say hello to you. But Dr. X usually stops and asks how I am. He knows I have some... problems. He can see I'm not happy here. He actually offered me some free weekly sessions. I think I might take him up on his offer. Sounds good. What are they saying about him? Oh yeah, they say he's a big flirt. Probably. Nurses, cleaners, patients. He doesn't care. As long as they're wearing a skirt. Shit. One girl I knew, Linda. I heard they had an affair. Stupid girl. Stupid girl. Well, she left, and I never saw her again. 
Now, why do you think that is? Dr. X got her knocked up. They covered it up and quietly got rid of her. Probably paid her some money. Mm. I don't know how these things work, but it must have been enough to shut her up. Must I bet he'll be more careful now. But I can't really say a bad word about him, <laughs> personally. Kill someone. Well, I don't think that's what it's one about, thing. Maybe. Don't laugh, okay? Okay. It's just between He's us girls. He's got a weird smell. What do you mean? This guy might he be... smells funny. I don't know. Maybe it's just bad aftershave. Or maybe it's something he eats. Oh, Dr. X is one of the guys thanks for the warning. I'll try not to get too I'm close sure. to him. Now that intuition. I think about it, there's something else too. Okay, what? I'll tell you this, Susan. He starts talking to you, and you just open up and tell him everything. It's very odd. Yeah, he's a good I don't exactly hide things from people, but he got some really private stuff out of me. Really private. You know what I mean? Things I wouldn't tell my mother about. And we haven't even started those sessions yet. What? So, be prepared for that. Get a sure. weird pit in my stomach. But it's a bit too late for me to hide how I feel now anyway. I think I made it very clear when I swallowed those pills. Alright, we're gonna cut it here. Um, I'm gonna pick right back up. I'm gonna do a little marathon, so stay tuned. And I'll see you shortly.